Sup guys, Lucas here, and Verizon has just had a huge data breach, which has compromised the data of anywhere between 6 and 14 million subscribers. Now, if you've called Verizon in anywhere, if, if Verizon customer support anywhere between uh, the last six months, maybe even earlier, your data is possibly compromised. So without further ado, let's just go over the events. So first of all, what happened on June 13th is that UpGuard, uh, Verizon's uh, cybersecurity company, the one that they hired, detected a breach in one of their partners. Now this partner is Nice Systems. And who is Nice Systems? They're the company that facilitates and helps out with everything to do with customer service calls and they were actually storing all of the logs. And these logs include your customer, the customer's name, their address, their email address, their Verizon account balance, and the most troubling is it even included their Verizon PIN, so their password to access the Verizon account. And that was extremely troubling because on June 13th, the breach was discovered that all of these things were leaked for anywhere between six to 14 million users. It was only nine days later at, on June 22nd that the breach was actually closed. But no one knows when it was actually opened, when this breach was first created. It could have been on June 13th or anywhere before that. So yeah, that is what's really the most worrying. And the reason I'm saying your information is probably compromised if you've been if you've called Verizon uh, customer support in the past six months is that the reason being is six months ago is when they hired Nice Systems. So that's the, la the latest or earliest, sorry, possible date in which um, your data could have been breached. So yeah, that's actually quite worrying. And the fact that around 14 million subscribers have had their data breached in a way that can actually let someone else impersonate you, access your Verizon account and actually tanker or tinker around with your settings and tamper with all that and actually impersonate you and access your account is extremely worrying because any even six million even the more um, conservative estimates that's still a lot of people and it's actually insane that this happened because the actual breach itself is not a hack no no not at all it's a quote-unquote misconfigured cloud-based data repository meaning that there was actually something wrong in the actual database that they created. And the actual breach was that anyone with a specific link could download the whole repository of logs, all of them. And as well, what I find quite annoying is that Verizon and UpGuard only issued a statement yesterday, a month after the breach was detected. So people have been going around for a month without knowing that their data had been leaked to other people. So yes, if you have called Verizon customer service in the past six months, change your pins now so that it's impossible for people to impersonate you because they might not have your data, but it could be you. And you know, it's better safe than sorry with these things. And it's actually quite scary that all of this has happened. And not only that, that they can access your account, they can actually use this to access a Verizon phone account and actually bypass two-step authentication which is actually even worse because people who have added security can still get actually well hacked in a sense because the two-step authentication can just be easily bypassed with all of this information, which is actually just insane. And yeah, that's, that's really what, what has happened here. That's really the recap of the events. And it, I mean, it's not the first time that something like this has happened. I mean, in 2015, T-Mobile had a leak where around 15 million customer uh, customers' information was leaked. And, I mean, that's around the same number, which is actually... I mean, this stuff happens, but I hope I got the message out there and everybody understands what's going on here. But, yeah, I mean, Verizon is saying that only 6 million... I mean, I think they're trying to save their skin here, but the company, the cybersecurity company, UpGuard, as I mentioned earlier, their estimate is around 14 million, but you can't really tell because of the construction of this cloud-based repository. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you found this useful and you are a Verizon customer, I hope you um, have become aware. And if you liked it, leave a like down below and don't forget to change your pins, you people that called Verizon customer support. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I drop more videos. That's about it. Lucas, signing out.